Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my life. I have a lot going on in today's vlog. I first just need to address why I stopped doing Vlogmas. I didn't necessarily stop. I'm just kind of doing it a different way. So instead of doing a vlog every single day for all 25 days, I'm just gonna do like a few vlogs a week, which is a lot more than I typically would do. And honestly, it just started getting extremely overwhelming. And one of my biggest fears about this being my job is I just never want to not enjoy it. And I think that if I force myself to do something and I'm like really overworking myself and also not even putting good content out, I'm going to stop enjoying it. And I just never want that to happen. I found myself recording things that were literally so boring, like making oatmeal like three days in a row. And it's like, okay, how many times can you vlog that you ate oatmeal in the morning? Like eventually no one cares. I really just want to make sure that I'm giving you guys the best content possible, that it's interesting, and it is something that I'm actually proud of because that matters a lot to me. I was literally going crazy every day trying to edit everything, and I wasn't even able to actually enjoy the moments where I just didn't want to be recorded, like just Darren and I like watching a Christmas movie or whatever it is, where I just want to enjoy it being Christmas time, and I just felt like everything was being recorded, and I just don't really love that. So I'm obviously going to put out as many videos in December as possible because I really did want to do that for you guys and was excited about it. I just don't want to end up hating my life and my job because of it. I hope you guys are understanding of that and thank you guys for just being patient with everything. But today we have a Clemson formal. The last Clemson formal was two years ago. Last year we didn't get to have one because of COVID and so I'm really really excited because two years ago was really fun. We went with Trevor and Marissa and had so much fun. They did such a good job putting it on. Decorations were so pretty and they just really put on a good little formal. I'm going with Mackenzie and Tiffany, KJ and Brayden. I think we're going to get ready together. They haven't responded yet, but I think that they're going to come over and get ready with me at Darian's house. I'm currently at my house in Greenville, so I'm about to leave to go to his house so we can spend some time together today. And then tomorrow I'm heading to Nashville for the day. I'm coming back that night with Darian. We're going for a Jaguars game, which I'm really excited about because I really wanted to be able to go but we ended up having this formal and it ended up working out where we were able to still do both. I'm really excited to spend time with Marissa for a little bit because I thought we weren't going to be able to see each other at all this month because we were supposed to go to Jacksonville on Monday and it ended up getting canceled because everyone had different stuff to do and places to be. So I'm happy I get to see her. It'll just be a good old time. So this will be a very fun vlog for you guys. I am going to finish reading, finish packing, and we'll head to Darien. Really quickly, I just got a box in the mail and it is the cup sheet things that I ordered. So I'm gonna show you guys. But before I get into everything that I got, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about Cupshe. Cupshe is a multi-category one-stop site. They don't just have bikinis, they have loungewear and really pretty cute dresses. All of their stuff is really high quality and really affordable. Most of their stuff is under $25 range. So it's really affordable, especially for the quality that you're getting. All of their stuff has been really comfortable and really flattering. They use special fabric that is designed to fit all kinds of body shapes. And they have sizes ranging from extra small to 4XL, which I love that it's very inclusive. All of their stuff is really cute and they have really good customer service. So I'm really excited to be working with them. You are not gonna wanna miss their winter sale. They are currently doing a 40% off deal. I'm going to have all of the links in my description, the things that I got today, as well as some of their winter sale things. So you guys make sure to head to my description after this and check them out. But let's see what I got. I'm excited. I love opening things on camera for some reason. Like it just really adds to like the exciting element of getting a package. I got a few different things. So I'll really be able to show you guys like how good their stuff is. And I was really surprised to see how much they have on their site. They have so many different things. Their loungewear and the workout sets are so cute. We have this very cute 
sweatshirt. Love this. This is gonna be really cute with either sweat. I honestly should probably wear this today. It's very cute. Maybe with some sweatpants or just kind of lounging around the house with some shorts. This is very versatile, so excited about this. Next. I forgot about this one. I'm so excited about this. It's a little set. We have the shorts and then we have the matching top, y'all. This is gonna be so cute. I'll be in Miami in a few weeks and I can just see myself strutting around Miami in this cute little set. And I don't even know if you guys can tell on camera, but the quality is so good. It's super soft. This is another thing I'm really excited for. It's another set. It's like a lounging set. Literally gonna wear this every night, y'all. This feels like a cloud. So soft, so comfortable. Yay! If you guys don't know by now, I'm like obsessed with sets and the fact that this is a, a high neck set. So cute! I'm like shook by the quality. Truly. So far, 10 out of 10 from everything I've seen. We have this little bikini. Cute. It's actually velvet. I'm not sure if you can tell, but I wanted like a different fabric for my swimsuit that like I don't see a lot. I feel like velvet is one of those. Excited to wear that. Then we have, oh yes, a sports bra. Guys, I have been in dire need of sports bras. I don't know about y'all, but my sports bras just like disappear. Like I don't know where they go, but I've had so many and now I have like two left. So I wanted to make sure I got a sports bra and this one was really cute. Love it. Last and certainly not least, we have another bikini. I was really excited about the fabric on this one. Look how cute this is. And here are the bottoms. Very cute. Everything worked out perfect. Again, all of those links will be in my description. So you guys make sure to check them out. Now back to the vlog. Apologies in advance for how annoying this fan is, but you can't have the light on without the fan. I don't have an option. I'm about to start getting ready for the formal. The girls just wanted to meet after we got ready so we all didn't have to bring our stuff everywhere. I kind of want to go for like a really glowy look. I'm doing like a really bold lip, so I don't want to make my eyeshadow too shiny because my lips are going to be really shiny. I'm using the Glitter Lip Kit Stay Golden Cosmetics shade baby it's gonna be very shiny very cute if i'm gonna be wearing makeup for a long time i always do the hydro grip primer by milk i'm gonna give you guys like a full makeup tutorial one day today is not that day because this vlog is gonna be long enough but i do want to show you guys at some point in december what my makeup routine is i really have no idea what to expect tonight i know two years ago was really fun. I don't know if they had a theme two years ago, but the theme for this year is Miami. So I don't know if that's gonna like play a part in the way it looks or anything. We are going to eat at Rick Irwin's before because we don't know what kind of like snacks are gonna be there. And if it's not good, you can't starve. You can't spend the whole night starving. Rick Irwin's is like a steakhouse that's around here. I'm excited to spend time with everyone too because I feel like I haven't really seen them because I've been traveling and doing random stuff. So I'm excited to see them and spend time with them. I love a good mix in my foundations because one is too dark and one is too light. You just mix it on up, make a little perfect shade. I forgot that I usually put my concealer on before I do foundation, but I already forgot. So, you know, not tonight. It blends so much better whenever I do my concealer first, in my opinion. This is still too dark for me, but I self tanned. So hopefully after bronzer and all that, it'll look normal. I am wearing a black dress. The dress that I was supposed to wear never came in. And I really wanted to wear that one because I thought it like fit the vibe a lot better but you know it never came so that is just too too bad so i'm wearing a black dress which is the one color i said i didn't want to wear because i wore a black dress two years ago not that anyone cares but you know i just like to switch it up i'm gonna finish getting ready on tiktok live so gotta go for now but of course i'll show you everything once we're ready Okay guys, obviously I'm ready. Darian is looking great. Here's the lipstick reveal. Very fun. Tiffany and Mackenzie didn't end up coming over. They didn't get ready in time. So they're just gonna meet us at dinner. 
So that's where we are headed. We're gonna have such a good night. I'm very excited. Babe. It's gonna be a good night. Yay. I'm a down south with a west coast vibe. Keep the vans on when I slide. Still bangs grow when I ride. Palm trees when I walk outside. I'm a down south with a west coast vibe. Keep the vans on when I slide. Still bangs grow when I ride. When I walk outside. I'm a Stuff I had it popping, popping. Good morning, everybody. Last night was so fun. It was 10 times better than it was two years ago, and two years ago was also really fun and cute. So they just really went up themselves with this Miami Vice little theme they had going on. What was your favorite part? Um, I thought it was all good. Taking pictures, like the photo stations were dope. Y'all see the pictures at some point soon. And then, well, by the time this is out, we'll definitely have them. Okay. And then um, we don't have too many moments where you have an excuse to get dressed up or hang out with my teammates and that sort of like, like parties happen, but like, and that, that was kind of classy. Like, everybody, you felt like you were not in Clemson. Like, you felt like you literally were like at a club. Miami. I know. It was, like, it, it was, it was just a really good time. Yeah, they did, good, they did such a good job setting up for it. Now we're at the airport, about to head to Nashville. We're just going for the day we're flying back tonight. I feel like Nashville during Christmas time is elite. And I'm so excited to see downtown because we're going to brunch and everything before the game. So it is 8.52 now. We woke up at like seven to get ready. So see you soon, Nashville. Jacksonville Jaguars took a very sad loss today. So it's just hard to watch sometimes, you know? When somebody you love just pours their heart and soul into Wait, every- watch out. I'm not- you, you, Literally on the curb. Oh my 
Okay. Now we're walking to a early dinner. It's about a 20 minute walk and it's pretty cold, but honestly it's been hot today, which I'm confused by because it's Nashville in December. It really has been a fun, beautiful day. What do you say? It's been a good day. Um, I wish we had more time to like really explore. see Nashville. Yeah, but a spontaneous trip, good trip. Definitely tough, tough day for my boys, Jags. We're um, going to Hawkers for dinner, which they have in Jacksonville, which is like one of our favorite places to eat in Jacksonville. Pretty hungry, what about she is? I'm actually not that hungry, I stuffed myself for brunch. Oh, I forgot you did. Yeah, he had a lot of brunch. Spinning around. 